Are you tired of your bank account looking like a barren wasteland after every payday? You're not alone. Each month we toil and sweat, and for what? To watch our hard-earned cash vanish quicker than a magician's rabbit. And let's not even talk about the heart-stopping, gut-wrenching moment when we dare to check our account balance. It's like playing a twisted game of how low can it go? But what if I told you there's a better way? Imagine a world where your bank account doesn't give you nightmares. A world where you can save money without sacrificing fun. Sounds like a far-off fantasy land, doesn't it? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey to that promised land. We're starting a money-saving revolution, and you're invited. Stick around, and you might just find yourself transforming from a money-burning machine into a savvy saver. Intrigued yet? Let's face it, money can be a slippery little devil. One minute it's there, snug in your pocket, and the next it's flown off, leaving behind nothing but a trail of receipts. And let's not even get started on how it seems to have a knack for disappearing right when you need it the most. Now let's debunk some of those pesky money-saving myths that have been floating around. First off, saving money doesn't mean you have to live like a medieval hermit. This isn't about swearing off all forms of joy and living under a rock. Nope. Saving money is about being smart with your cash, not about giving up life's little pleasures. Then there's the misconception that saving money is all about self-deprivation. That you have to cut back on everything you enjoy, from your daily latte to your Friday night takeaway. But let's get real here, folks. That's not saving money. That's punishing yourself. Saving money is about making choices. It's about deciding what's important to you and what's not. It's about understanding that every penny counts, but also remembering that you're only human. You're allowed to treat yourself now and then. The key is balance, not deprivation. Oh, and let's not forget the myth that you need to earn a six-figure salary to save money. Let me tell you, that's a load of old tosh. No matter how much or how little you earn, you can save money. It might take a bit more creativity and discipline if your income is lower, but it's definitely possible. And then there's the notion that saving money is boring. Well, I beg to differ. There's nothing quite like the thrill of watching your savings grow, of knowing that you're financially secure, and of realizing that you're in control of your own financial destiny. So, ready to outsmart the system and make your money work for you? I thought so. Budgeting, it's like dieting, but for your wallet. Now don't let that comparison scare you away. We're not talking about a starvation diet here. We're talking about a balanced, healthy diet for your finances. Imagine your income as the food you eat. You wouldn't want to consume all the junk food in the world and expect to stay healthy, right? The same principle applies to your income. You shouldn't spend it all on things that give you instant gratification but leave you broke at the end of the month. That's where budgeting comes in. It helps you allocate your income or your financial calories in a way that keeps your wallet, much like your body, in good shape. Now let's talk about different techniques. You've got the traditional envelope system, where you physically divide your cash into different envelopes for different expenses. It's a bit old school, but hey, if it works for you, go for it. Then there are mobile apps that do the same thing, but digitally. These apps can track your spending, show you where your money is going, and even give you alerts when you're about to overspend. It's like having a personal finance coach in your pocket. And for the free-spirited among us, there's the no-budget budget. Sounds paradoxical, doesn't it? But it's pretty straightforward. You just automate your savings and bills, then spend the rest guilt-free. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, but you've already set aside some food for later. But remember, the best budgeting technique is the one that works for you. It's not about restriction, it's about control. It's about knowing where your money is going so you can make conscious decisions about what you want to do with it. So, whether you're a meticulous planner who loves spreadsheets or a go-with-the-flow type who prefers a more relaxed approach, there's a budgeting technique out there for you. Because at the end of the day, budgeting is about making your money work for you, not the other way around. Remember, a budget is not a prison, it's a tool. Your financial freedom awaits. Saving money isn't about giving up fun, it's about having fun in smart ways. Now isn't that a breath of fresh air? You don't need to become a hermit or start eating canned beans by candlelight to save money. So let's dive into some tips that will help you save without sacrificing your joy. Firstly, prioritize your spending. It's the age-old wisdom of needs versus wants. Now, I'm not saying you should live like a monk. No, no. I'm simply suggesting you separate your must-haves from your nice-to-haves. For example, if you're a coffee lover, do you really need that five-pound fancy latte every day? 
Or could you maybe make your coffee at home, save a few quid and still get your caffeine fix? Next, consider making smart swaps. Love going to the cinema? Try hosting a movie night at home. You can pop your popcorn, snuggle under a blanket and even pause the movie when you need to use the loo. And the best part, no one's going to shush you for laughing too loud. Another smart financial decision is to make the most of free and low-cost activities. There are countless ways to have fun without breaking the bank. From hiking in the local nature reserve to visiting free museums or joining a book club. The world really is your oyster if you're willing to think outside the box. Don't forget to make use of discounts and deals. There are countless apps and websites out there offering coupons, discounts and cash back on everything from groceries to getaways. It's like a treasure hunt. But instead of gold, you're finding savings. Lastly, remember that saving money doesn't mean you can't treat yourself. It's about balance. You can indulge in your favorite things, but maybe not all the time. Remember, moderation is key, not deprivation. With these tips, you can have your cake, eat it, and still have plenty left in your bank account. Because at the end of the day, the joy of saving is not just about the money. It's about the freedom and peace of mind it brings. So here's to smarter spending and more fun in the process. Cheers! Imagine a life where you're not constantly worrying about money. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, it's time to shake off the slumber and step into the reality of financial independence. What's that you ask? It's the sweet spot where you're not living paycheck to paycheck. Where you have the freedom to make choices that aren't dictated by monetary constraints. It's having the peace of mind that comes from knowing you've got a safety net. And it's the power to shape your life exactly as you envision it. So how does saving money contribute to this utopian state? Well, let's break it down. Each penny saved is a step towards building a sturdy financial fortress. It's the foundation of your emergency fund, the cornerstone of your retirement savings, and the fuel for your dreams, big or small. But it's not just about stashing away cash. It's about cultivating a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. It's about understanding the value of money, but also recognizing that it's merely a tool, not the end goal. Now you might be thinking, easier said than done, I hear you. But remember, financial independence isn't a race, it's a journey. Each step, no matter how small, is progress. It's about making consistent, smart decisions. It's about prioritizing, making sacrifices, and sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone. And here's the beautiful part. Once you start on this path, it's not just your bank balance that grows. You grow. You become more confident, more self-reliant, and more in control of your destiny. So why not start today? Take control of your financial future. Make a budget. Start saving. Invest wisely. Say no to impulse buys and yes to financial freedom. Financial independence isn't a far-fetched dream. It's a reality waiting for you to seize it. So are you ready to embark on the money-saving revolution? The power is in your hands now. Equipped with these tools and this knowledge, it's time to make your move. Bear in mind every penny saved is a step closer to your financial freedom. So there's no time like the present to begin your money-saving journey and ignite the revolution. Don't forget, if you found the video useful, hit that like button, share it with your friends to spread the word, and leave us a comment about your own money-saving tips. Also, don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Hit that subscribe button to join our community. Let's revolutionize our financial lives together.